Hey, whorehounds, it's Ben from 80s Horse Central, keeping the frightful reviews coming for October. Let's take a look at a homegrown regional slasher from 1982 called House of Death, also known as Death Screams. House of Death is a rather forgettable slasher that suffers from terrible pacing and a boring plot. Everybody's having a good time? Uh, oh, yeah. yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. Oh, I love to see young folks having a good time. Yeah. See, did anybody notice a strange smell around this particular area? Yeah. No. Well, now, you know, I do. I smell that. You know, it has a queer effect on me. It makes me kind of want to find out where it's coming from. Then maybe it'll go away. What do you think? A random couple is killed having sex out in the woods. The next day, the killer turns his sights on a group of friends attending a carnival. The killer stalks the friends to a campout where he proceeds to slaughter them until the final showdown at an abandoned whorehouse in the woods. Can any one of the friends survive the house of death? Or will they let out a death scream? House of Death commits the ultimate movie sin, being boring. The film's pacing is tedious, and after the film's opening double murder, there isn't another kill for over 50 minutes. The opening kill is edited so badly and lit so shittily that it's hard to make out how the couple died. I had to go back and watch it three times to make sense of it. I think he's strangling them both with a noose or barbed wire or something before throwing them into the river. The film's editing is atrocious. House of Death is one of the worst edited flicks I've reviewed. The kills are all staged and edited badly. The film's pacing and focus on character development over horror is what leads to the film dragging. A good chunk of the movie just follows the friends as they pal around at the carnival. Unfortunately, none of the characters are memorable or likable. Take your damn hands off me. I've had up to here with you and your sanctimonious bullshit. This town don't need your shit. You can take this town and shove it. It's not this town that's bothering you. We're not talking about this town. We're talking about your son. Don't you talk about my son! Go ahead, hit me! I wasn't the one that did it. I wasn't the one driving the car. Casey was the one that was driving the car, not me. You should have died four years ago, you little slut. You call this living? The film's kills are pretty tame and lame. There's a semi-amusing kill where a girl is getting attacked after the carnival and is killed on a carousel. The gore is weak in this one, and there are too many off-screen kills. There is one cool death scene I got a kick out of, and it's when the killer has his head needlessly blown off by the sheriff at the film's climax. House of Death's narrative is nothing original, and there's several subplots that go unresolved. The film features a sheriff character who dislikes a group of friends because of his son's death, which they never explain in detail and has no bearing on the killer's motives. It was just a half assed attempt at a red herring. The film's plot just comes off as routine and lazy. There's some nudity in the film, including a skinny dipping. The film tries to make up for its slow pace by going into crack mode in the last 15 minutes, killing off six teens in quick succession, as well as revealing the killer. I honestly couldn't recognize or make out who the killer was due to none of the characters being that memorable and also the editing and lighting of the reveal. It turns out the killer is one of the characters we assume is dead from earlier in the movie who was killing off the group of teens for being sex crazed, mainly due to his mother being a prostitute, the classic killer with mommy issues. House of Death's occasional moments of atmosphere and amusingly bad dialogue isn't enough to make up for the film's negatives, and the film's last 15 minutes of over-the-top carnage isn't enough to warrant drudging through the film's first 70 minutes of runtime. House of Death's lackluster script and botched kills make it a forgettable slasher. Remember how we talked about boys and girls and how they get together? Uh, no, I, I never heard girls. I never heard girls never like, like that. Yeah. 
Mr. Maverick, boy, you want to go blind?